What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video we have an iOS jailbreak update for the 11.3.1, 11.2.x and so on since a lot of events happened in the past couple of hours and days and I felt the need to actually create a video that combines all the events and we also have some news. But before we start I'm going to tell you that the biggest news in this video is that iOS 11.3 beta 6 is no longer signed. If you remember in a video that I made I told you that iOS was 11.3 beta 6 was still signed so up to a few minutes ago you could still downgrade or upgrade to 11.3 on any device but it's no longer the case Apple closed that so if you didn't save your blobs or downgrade to that version it's no longer possible unfortunately now for those of you who do not know the Electra jailbreak is nearly done and I talked about this in a previous video in which I reiterated the fact that the Electra thing only has one more thing to go. Well, today Coolstar posted this, quote, got a new surprise coming soon for you all with the Electra 11.3.1, end quote. I have no idea what he talks about, but it's probably going to be good. But what's more important is that one of the contributors to the Electra confirmed that some of the tweaks that everybody is probably going to install are indeed compatible. And Pound to Oni here says, quote, Angel x -Win, I can confirm that the latest AppSync Unify 9.0 works fine on iOS 11.3.1, so it's safe for you to enable the installation, which means that the AppSync can be used. Now, if you remember, the AppSync has been creating problems back on iOS 10 when it wasn't compatible with the jailbreak. There were a couple of problems. It hasn't been updated for iOS 10 properly. And after the Yalu has been released, a lot of people tried to install the AppSync and of course they bootlooked their device and they were forced to update to the latest version, which is very, very bad. This is why it's very important for the jailbreak developers to test those tweaks that people are very likely to install after the jailbreak drops. Since if one of the tweaks that is very likely to be installed is creating problems, it may create a lot of issues with the jailbreak and it may even force some people to update to the latest version. So it's very good to see that some of the tweaks that people are very likely to install are compatible. The same developer has confirmed that both Ventana and Classic Folders 2 work on iOS 11.3.1 and Noctis, Eclipse, iCleaner are also confirmed to work and so on, which is very important because as I said, once the Electra drops, everybody will start installing tweaks because that's pretty much what the jailbreak is being used. And of course, at that point, if one of the tweaks is doing something to the files of the system and that tweak hasn't been properly tested or updated for the iOS 11.3.x or iOS 11.2.x, then it may create problems and even boot loops, which will result in that individual that installed the tweak updating to the 11.4, which is something you probably do not want. So this is why it takes a while testing has to be done, a lot of updates have to be made by tweak developers, so this is why it takes a while and there is also the initial remount that has to be fixed. So you should keep that in mind and be patient. In other news, iOS 12 also looks good. If you remember, Lion Chan has actually managed to jailbreak it and they presented this jailbreak here on their uh, Twitter profile, it's the Kin Lab, and Lion Chan is of course part of Kin Lab and they said, quote, our iOS 12 beta 1 jailbreak demo and of course they posted this video in here. Why is this important? Well, it pretty much goes to show that the iOS 12 can be jailbroken, at least in beta 1, which of course is important because iOS 11.3.1 will not stay relevant forever. The iOS 12 will become a thing and we need to have a jailbreak for this thing at one point or another. And the simple fact that Lion managed to pretty much jailbreak it is pretty good because it shows that for the moment the iOS 12 did not change so much that it would make jailbreaking impossible or too hard, which is something very good. Now, for those of you who do not know, iOS 11.4 is the only signed version for the moment, which means that you can no longer downgrade, upgrade to iOS 11.3.1, iOS 11.3 and so on. So once the Electra jailbreak drops, make sure that you do not install tweaks that they are not confirmed to work. There will be lists, I will post of course links to various lists of tweaks that work and that don't work for the iOS 11.3.x, but it's very important 
to keep in mind that not all the tweaks that exist will work for the iOS 11.3.x and iOS 11.2.x out of the box. And it's very important to not install the tweaks that do not work and that are not confirmed working by the community because one tweak that modifies files or does something bad to the system is enough to cause a boot loop and to get you to iOS 11.4. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, just a lot of information that I wanted to push out in there because Electra is actually very close and once it drops, a lot of people will install tweaks and it's very important to do responsible tweak installing because if you're not careful on what you're installing in the beginning when tweaks are not compatible or most of the tweaks are not compatible, you may end up missing out on this jailbreak. So, that's what I'm saying, be careful once it's out, be patient while we're waiting for it to be out and make sure that you do not get updated overnight to 11.4 because iOS devices have this behavior that they do update overnight. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.